Howdy, folks. Shabby's back. And he's back to... I don't know yet. I'm not sure. We're in Coastal Highway at the fishing camp, and we have a bear down. So, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> Let's find out. Don't have a plan. I do not have a plan as of right now. I'm going to drink some water. That's We're definitely going to do that. First thing, out of the gate, drink water. All right, let's continue to, uh, let's see. We could run out since we have full energy. Well, let's keep on sleeping. Let's keep on sleeping and then we'll get the, we'll start getting the bear stuff over here, the, the meat. Oh boy. I might have to rethink that plan. We got Aurora Wolves out here, folks. Look out. Now, we're not stinky. Let's just take a peek. Let's take a peek. Ugh. I just. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm too scared. I'm too scared. We've gotten so messed up by an Aurora Wolf here before. This exact spot. Well, we were in the fishing hut. I just I was talking about it the other day, actually. I was talking about how an Aurora Wolf took me down. I had full health, and it took me down to 10% health. So. It's risky. It can be risky. Um, I'm going to actually, you know what I'm going to do for right now? While I'm hanging out here, we're going to put that, we're going to put that, uh, we're going to put this on. I if I can drop any of this gear. We're going to put this on. Just for the protection. I mean, it is much colder though, isn't it? Damn. All right, is there any chorin we can do? Not really. We have one torch. And we could, uh, see this is still in pretty decent shape. Not quite ready to not quite ready to uh, repair that yet. And we have a wolf right here. Okay, I know there's a wolf around here somewhere. We don't have, do we have any cooked food here? We don't, okay. Oh, we do, right here. All right. <clears throat> and we have the Travoy, and I don't think it, I still, that's what we'll do, we'll just use the Travoy, because I don't think it stinks. I don't think you stink if you're on the Travoy. If you have the meat on the Travoy. Let's do that. Oop. Man, I am so nervous right now. Let's deploy the Travoy, shall we? Where 
Where is it? There it is. Deploy. Okay. Oh my goodness, come on. Quick, you gotta be quick. <laughs> quick, quick. You're not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. Oh my god. We're definitely gonna get a wolf over here, right? No way around it. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm just gonna look down the road here. I would really like to know where the wolf was. That would be... or is. Don't know I went, uh, why I went into past tense, I do not know. <laughs> Don't know. I'm too cold. Okay. Looks clear. The road does, at least. I just don't want to get blindsided on from that direction. Alright, let's do it. Okay, no problem. I don't what was all the worried about worry about? I don't know. Alright. Let's just go in here and warm up. I guess we don't need to warm up. Let's just grab a grab a bag. Wait. I'm not waiting. Astrid. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay. All right. Do some harvesting. Maybe we could just do. What's Shabby doing, Shabby? Well, we are trying not to die as per usual. Uh, I don't know. We're just uh. Uh, yeah, I skipped yesterday, didn't I? I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I've been busy. I'm, that the previous week busyness is still impacting my life right now. So I'm, I'm kind of squeezing this in. I think I'm gonna have to probably, probably, probably have to take a couple more days of not streaming to get caught up with stuff. So we're just trying to do. We're trying to squeeze a little session in here, get my mind off of things. Yes, bear disassembly. That's where that's where we're at right now. And then I'm probably I don't really have a plan for today. That's kind of um, I mean, part of me wants to just go ahead and just move on with signal void. And then there's another part of me that wants to just do some more fishing. But if I do more fishing, that means I have to go get some fuel, or I could you know chop down pallets here. I just have some options here. I don't know. Haven't really settled on anything yet. Let's get two bags. This pack is I just don't. Too heavy I just carry. don't know. Yeah, I'm just thinking. I don't know. I mean, part of me is like, well, what's the hurry? You know, just take your time, do some more fishing, enjoy it a little bit. Hey. 
What's the hurry? What's the rush, Shabby? Oh, oh, pretty heavy. You know, I'm gonna. I'll see what the weather. We'll let the weather decide. If the weather's nice tomorrow, we will. We will chop some pallets and get a fire going over there and just start fishing. And we'll fish until our fuel runs out, and then we'll and then we'll leave. I think that's a plan. That's as good as a plan as, as I've got right now, so. Careful with Coastal Highway. I've seen lots of people who end up in Coastal Highway just start doing laps around Coastal Highway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's that other bear. The the bear that's by the uh, uh, misanthrope. I could go over there and, and do fishing and then kill that bear. And, you know, then I'm just bouncing around all over the place. I have a pile of meat over at the Quonset hut, too. And, yeah, I mean, and it's funny, you oftentimes just end up on the ice. You don't really go up into the hills. So I don't really know the hills of Coastal Highway that much. I mean, I kind of, I mean, I do just, you know. You know, I do, but, I mean, it's not as familiar as other places. Okay, look at this beautiful Maglins weather we got here. Let's see. Let's let's look at some pallets. We got two. Let's see, if we put a fire here, we might be able to get three piles of pallets. And it's kind of protected too, so let's Let's give it a shot. Here we go. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do laps though. I think I'll be hanging out here. For my time and then we'll just do a straight on, shot up to come on cinder hills is that gonna be warm enough let's get our let's get let's trade out our jacket our coat whatever i was so paranoid about the aurora wolf potential that i put my put my this i put my i mean it's only 10 percent more i think it's not really no, it's only 5% more protections. It's not like a ton. Probably not worth the trouble. Alright. What do we got here? Alright, we're warm enough, so let's start chopping. Two hours and 36 minutes. Wow. My goodness, is it worth it? That's the question. How much you get? You get 16? Damn. 106, let's see. How many minutes is that? That's uh, 120, 100, 156 minutes. All right, I guess that adds up. Yeah, it's like 10 minutes per... Okay, that's that's good. That's a good trade. That's a good trade. Same thing. Same dealio? Okay. Let's do it. Still got an hour on that. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Alright. Um... Let's just keep chopping, I guess. This wind is probably going to get us, though. I wish you could chop in little chunks, but you can't. Yeah, all I can think about is food. Okay, all of this. <laughs> Don't eat it, Shabby. Let's see. Should we put a steak on? Again, I can't. I can't cook in. Or I can't. Oh, I blew it out anyways.
Armor is good though. I finally quit peeing my pants and went into Bleak Inlet and I wish I had worn my rabbit mittens and deer pants now that I'm doing it. <laughs> Switch the fleece mittens and double combat pants to save weight. That's a good idea. But yeah, the ra to me the rabbit mittens are like some of the best gear in the game. I, I just, I mean, it's such a, whenever you make those rabbit mitts, you can really tell a huge difference. It doesn't seem like much. I mean, maybe it's because it happens early you know, early in the game, so you really notice it. But you know, I don't know. I always, I'm always excited to make my rabbit mitts. Well, so it got too windy for our fire. Well, let's go ahead and I wish I had more fuel. Let me just think about this for a sec. Hmm. Now I could put a I could put a fire on the other side of these pallets and get these two. But I can't Let's see. Is it out? It's nope. Let's see if we can get it over here. Oh. Can I reach through here? <laughs> no. I was so close. Leave that crouch. No, I can't reach it. <laughs> uh, I can't reach. I can't reach it. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, this does block the wind, right? Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. All right, we're going to use a match. We're doing it. I got to get something to eat, man. Light it and throw it. Oh, that's a good idea. That's too late. Yeah. Damn, I didn't even think about that. So many little tricks with this game. Shoot. And these take too long to... Two hours. Two hours. Eight hundred. See, are these all? I know there's a small piece in here. I think. Here we go. A oh, forty calories. Okay, whatever. Uh. I don't have anything cooked right now. That's what. That's my problem. Nothing cooked. We'll save a few minutes there. 38 minutes. Okay. All right, I'm gonna throw another coal on. We're gonna get a bunch of coal here in just, just to like a couple of days, we're gonna be all over it. All right, let's do it. Okay. Sweet. I'm gonna throw another. Anything right now. I'll throw one of these on here just to have a fire going. Hmm. Still want to starve. Uh 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 gone <laughs> damn it well we're gonna be here for a bit anyways we'll get our whale fed back that's all right it happens it happens i knew i mean i saw it happening and i didn't stop i could have stopped it but i was like ah it'll be just fine how much time is left on this 20 minutes all right let's get some uh 
Oh man, crappy torch. We have water out there, so let's go. Let's go ahead and. This pack is getting kind of heavy. All right. Oh wait, we have to craft. Uh, almost forgot. We have to craft some. Uh, some tackle. Hey, Mr. Barley. Good to see you. Shabby is back. We just lost well fed, Mr. Barley. We just lost well fed. That's the second time on this run I've done that. I didn't realize how many calories that was going to eat up, man. That uh, chopping wood like that. I guess you really, you really build up an appetite. Work up an appetite doing that. Okay. All right. Let's go. Um, let's go craft some. Let's go craft some uh, tackle. While it's really nice and warm, we won't need a fire to do that on our outdoor workbench. <laughs> our favorite workbench in the game. Oh, it does. You're right. This uh, pest just said, I mean, it says how many calories. You're right. Yeah, I don't, I, I never, obviously, I never look at that. I never look at that. But yeah, you're absolutely right. All right, I think that's all we're going to need. And I have like five hooks on me, so we just need to make some line. That's it. I know there's a wolf around here somewhere because I heard it the other day. I don't know. Maybe he moved off. Who knows? Be careful about being optimistic though in this game. That could that could that could be trouble. And get you killed. Alright, let's see if we can do four lines here. Thirty minutes. And the lures, I don't think I want to do that. Hooks. Now let's just go ahead and do some more lines. While we're starving, you know. Might as well take advantage of that. Oh wait. Oh man, missed my maglins opportunity. Oh well. Someone left a piece of moose meat on the ground. Let's eat it. Just a moldy, you know, garbage piece of moose meat. And I just pick it up and just eat it. That's a survivor right there. Damn, Bumble, you missed our maglins. Just have a torch. <sighs> okay, here we go. Ninety percent. There we go. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. It's the five month rule. <laughs> yeah, a five month rule. I love it. That's great. Oh yeah, now we got some now we got some time on it. Oh, it's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. 
Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and... So we don't starve again. 22 minutes. Alright. Oh, we gotta make some tackle. Let's do that. Ten minutes. All right, might as well just eat it. Oh, we got another aurora. Frequent aur auroras here. Frequent. Eh. I mean, we are gonna have to eat here in a bit again. Now let's just go ahead and just let's just go. Let's do a long fish here. What? How much time we got? Seven hours. Okay, here we go. All right. So is rock, so is the salmon trout and rockfish or are those the only three you can catch here? I feel like I'm forgetting one or something. We're gonna starve again. <laughs> All right, we're out. Trout. Okay, let's throw some trout up there. Let's do a little half fish here. Just just to keep a line in the water, you know. I think the odds of catching a fish like that are pretty slim. Especially at, you know, level three. Or no, we're level two fishing, I think. Yeah, we're still level two. Guess we keep the ice clear though, so that's something. Yeah, just keep just keep keep on a cooking, I guess. Fourteen minutes. I guess, you know, it does keep the ice from building up, so I guess it is something you're doing here. Sorry, what did I, what was that? Three hours, okay. All right. I like how the condition's 94%, like, what's going on with that fish, is it? Is it dying out here? What's happening? I mean, they are... You know, they are designed to spawn and then just go... They, they die right after they mate. <laughs> so, maybe they're just like, this is like, we're getting close to the time. Okay, let's make some more, let's make some more, uh, tackle. Oh, now see, now, right now would be a nice time to have a tip up. That way I could, I could put it in the, I could put it in here and then we could rest. Keep the fire going. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should have made a tip up. What how's what's the what's the deal with the tip ups? How how much does that take? I know you need sticks. And I, I know that part. You need tackle. And some metal, I think. Cloth. 
Okay. And it takes 40 minutes on a workbench. Okay, well, we'll wait until the, uh, the afternoon, and maybe it'll be warm enough. We'll just go over there and craft it real quick. But we'll just take some fatigue damage and do some fishing. How about that? That's, let's do a six-hour fish again. I think that's... And then it'll be, then we'll be close to the warm part of the day, and then maybe I'll make a tip up, and then we'll sleep out here. fish do you have to catch to get the level two I wonder okay seems like the weather's pretty nice let's go find some sticks any wolves about no it doesn't look like it Damn, we're pretty pretty damn tired, <laughs> gotta say. Alright, how many sticks do we need? We need Oop. Tip up, tip up, fishing tip up. Two sticks, that's it. Okay. I can handle that. Let's see if we can rustle up a couple of sticks real quick. I'm going to do all this work and it's just going to break. Like, the line will just break. That's it. That's it's that's how it works. The game is trying to kill you and so you can't, you know... You can't really count on anything. Don't want to get into a wolf struggle right now. That would be not good. <laughs> no, they, well, the tip-ups don't break, but the tackle breaks. Or the line breaks or whatever. So, yeah, I guess you're right. I guess... I mean, I, was, I, wasn't, I wasn't correct the way I said that. We're going to make the tip up and then and then we, our line would just break. <laughs> I guess that's what I meant. It became an issue when I was doing the zone of contamination and fishing, trying to survive by fishing there. And it was so frustrating because my tip ups almost always, instead of catching a fish, the line just broke. <laughs> it sucked. Let's leave this out just in case. All right. Okay, tip up. Okay. Oh, look at this. Well, we already have a fire anyway, so I guess it didn't matter. Uh, I kind of want to just go a different route. <laughs> There might be some loot out here, you never know. I know it's more of a stalker thing, but oftentimes on these uh, docks and stuff, there'll just be something like laying on top of a one of these posts or like a hatchet usually. I don't uh, you don't really see that in interloper though. Yep, just a lazy day of fishing. Or a lazy couple of days. Uh 
Okay. Now, let's get some sleep. Need some more time than that. Actually, I'm going to make some... Make some herbal tea. Maybe a birch bark tea. We'll just heal back up the old-fashioned way. Of course, I don't have any room to drink. <laughs> All right. We'll just... Shoot. There we go. Now let's pick some... Birch bark tea. I haven't done that in a while. Okay. Alright, now let's sleep. And I don't know... Now let's see, you can't do this anymore, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like that works at all. Yeah. Oh well. It was fun while it lasted. Okay, we're gonna sleep for six hours. Tip up. Almost forgot. Tip up. Start a fishing. There we go. Sweet. I'm gonna grab some coffee. I'll be right back. Looks like we got something. All right. Three hours left. Okay. All right, that was fun. Worth it. Worth all the effort. <laughs> we caught a fish. Oh boy. While we slept. Uh, it does seem kind of silly now. I mean, really, Really, you need like four. You need like four or five going. That's really where it really starts to pay off. Like having one in there, like, okay, all right. Shrug. All right, let's go ahead. Let's just go ahead and sleep some more. Let's sleep some more. Um, how much time we got? Three hours? All right, we'll sleep a couple hours. Okay, all right. That's fun. That's good. Good use of time there. Um, all right, let's start a fish in old school. I guess, you know, a goal we can have is maybe we'll just fish until we hit... Um, until we hit uh, level three. So probably you have to catch like five or six more fish, looks like. Wait a minute, what am I doing? Wait, where's the skills? Okay, here it <laughs> Oh, we're, yeah, we're there. I mean, we're there. Right, we'll just fish until we kind of get, I don't know, I'll, I'll feel it out. I'll feel it out. We'll, fi we'll figure it out. Okay, we got water on, that's right. Okay, okay here we go. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. There we go. We were one away. Alright, let's just get a big pile of water here and then we'll and then we'll stop. That's that's my goal for right now. Trees. Oh yeah, she is getting hungry. Oh well, we'll we'll Okay, we will Oh, got stuck there for a second. We'll cook on the next round here. Now the fish are just gonna start rolling in. 
Don't starve, Shad. Don't starve. Just hanging out with a bunch, got a bunch of dead fish all around us. Good time. Not smelly at all. I would do anything for a drink right now. And we're so close. Be close. Be careful, Shabby. Maybe we should just hang here until we get well fed back. That's probably a better plan, actually. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll just hang here until we get well fed. That'll be our cue to leave and to continue on with Signal Void. I did this for days and days. In Ash Canyon, I just, I would cook, sleep, you know, it was just like, you're fishing, you're cooking, you're sleeping, you're making water, you're, you're, you're fishing, and you're, it's just constantly <laughs> just bouncing around. It was crazy, but, you know, I didn't have an audience at the time, so it didn't feel awkward. <laughs> I was just doing it. Okay. Now let's keep cooking, because I, I want to have... It's hard to kind of stay in front of this, isn't it? To cook bigger pieces of fish, I suppose. Looks like I made it through another night. I'm actually looking forward to that towards the end of my 500 days. Yeah, I mean, just to chill and just, I mean, as long as you have fuel, you can just do this for, yeah. Going to try to get that three day fire too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's 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 what I enjoy. I just enjoy just chilling. Not like this, it's the stress levels go way down. You know what I mean? No, no pant, no, you don't have to worry about wetting your pants, you know, in, the, in those times. So it's, it's really nice. Okay, let's let's uh, let's get some water going now. Here we go. I guess it turned out that um, that that fishing hut in, according to Bashrobe's video, fishing video, highly recommend you check that out on YouTube. Uh, that fishing hut in Ash Canyon is the most, has the highest uh, probability of catching fish in the game, which is pretty cool. I, I had, I, I kind of, I was fishing there on accident. I didn't realize it was, it was like the, is the honey hole for fishing, but apparently it is. Did I use honey hole right? <laughs> I'm not sure. It just came out of my mouth, and I was like, "Did I say? Is that right? Can I say honey hole?" Yeah, it has the highest probability of, uh, for, for whatever reason. I mean, it's like a five percent higher chance or something. I can't remember exactly. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> It's like, does honey hole mean something that I'm not aware of? <laughs> All right, let's keep making water because I want to have a bunch of water and it goes pretty fast, actually. Right. 
1100 calories, baby. Okay. More water, please. Just keep doing this. <laughs> Again, I did this for like, I think I did this for 12 days in Ash Canyon. It was, but it was wonderful. I loved it. It was so chill. It was the best. I, I, the, the only stressful part was run when I ran out of fuel. I would run. I would scour the whole area of Bitter Marsh, picking up sticks, finding branches and uh, uh, you know limbs and things like that to chop up. Did I just do an hour there? I think I did. I was gonna say, where did you get the fuel for 12 days? Yeah, it was, it was, I mean, I had a bunch on me, but then, um, yeah, it ran out pretty quick and then it was just run, and then I would just like, I don't know, I'd find enough to last me like a day and a half or so come back and, and then when it would run out then I'd make another run and then find another branch or fur limb or something and I pretty much clear that's the reason why I ended up stopping was I I uh, you know now I think about it because I see I had a I had a hundred and ninety nine hour fire and I set it up so it would keep burning so I wanted to get a 200 hour fire and I left the zone while the fire was burning and the and this timer stopped or something i had plenty of wood on that to go to, to go 200 hours but it stopped at 199 i was so pissed off <laughs> so i guess i was there probably nine days and not 12. i guess if the, if the math checks out on that or maybe it was more eight i don't know however many hours 200 is how many days that's more like eight and a half i guess Um, when, what are we doing right now? Make more water? Let's make some food. Let's make some food. Oh. There we go. You know, come to think of it, I actually have all that recorded. It's, it's, um, it's part of my 500 day run. I recorded all of that stuff, but... I only posted like today, I don't know, like day 150 or something on YouTube. And then it, this, the, the video quality was so horrendous and the, my mic was awful. It was, I just couldn't stand looking at it. <laughs> so I stopped making them public. It's all saved on YouTube, but it just, it's, it's all set to private. But maybe I'll just do like a special, you know, one of the, like find some special episodes in, in all those videos and, and just post them just for the fun of it. Okay, what am, what am I doing? Feels like night is coming. You'd watch that sweet pest. Yeah, I uh I think there'll be a handful of people that would like to see it. I like to I like to watch it again myself, honestly. Um you know, the younger version, the younger Shabby. Early Shabby. That's when Shabby was born. That's when that's how we that's how Shabby was developed. Uh I was going to say some more stuff. But sometimes you got to pump the brakes on 
when you know you're gonna go off the rails on something dumb and just just stop okay and may, I'm, maybe in future games I will try to get cooking five by fishing because I mean you can really cook a lot um, what am I looking at right now oh I want to see how far okay we don't have well fed yet because sometimes it can sneak by you and you not notice it um, how many days has it been let's see we lost it on let's see we lost it I think we lost it here Yeah, because my condition was really low. Okay, so we're probably... Now we're still a couple days off. Oh well. Here we see the young proto-shabby. That's right. <laughs> Alright, we're about to run out of fuel, y'all, though. We're gonna have to probably just... take this indoors... pretty soon. Eight hours. Okay. Let's do a little, uh, get a little tip up going. And then, I'll sleep for like three hours, I guess. We'll just do that for a bit. A little tip up, tip up fishing. Speaking of, of uh, you know, we've been talking about having fires burn for a really long time. Does, does anyone watch, uh, what's his name, Archimedes? He's still doing the 500-day fire, which is insane. Frankie the 500-day fire? Something like that? <laughs> That's crazy. Now, see, he's doing the opposite. He's, like, spending almost all of his time in Mystery Lake, and I'm spending none of my time in Mystery Lake. catch anything I can't tell looks like it oh there we oh this is the one I wasn't thinking of fresh red Irish Lord oh baby sweet I see I had totally forgotten about that fish there was something in the back of my head saying I think there's another fish there's another type of fish Okay. More tip up fishing. Sleep a couple more hours. I don't know, three hours. Another blizzard. You've caught an Irish Lord in real life. They are fugly. <laughs> they look they look like they have a lot of frills, that's for sure. Look at that. They look kind of like a rockfish. Sort of. Pretty cool. Now are they are the it's a saltwater fish? I'm assuming. All head and no body. Yeah, it is almost like a whole. <laughs> uh, okay, three hours. Let's see, do we need to make more tackle? I think we do. Okay. Um, 
Let's make some water. Here we go. Okay. Let's see what the situation is here with the fuel. Okay, we're out of... Out of that, we have a handful left. Three pieces. Okay, we'll just run this out. Okay, when this runs out, we'll be done fishing. And then... I'm just gonna chill here until we get... Until we get, um... Our well-fed back. Which probably will... It'll, probably pretty soon. We're not too far off from that. Yeah, I think I think in the future I'm going to try to do fishing early and then we'll just get just get my um try to level up cooking with, by fishing. I think that's probably a probably a pretty decent plan. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if it is. It sounds like a good plan, but I don't know if it is. Yeah, I've lived in Alaska for 10 years and dad had a boat. We fished for halibut fairly often. Oh wow, I love halibut. So delicious. I've never fished for it, though. You should be able to get a small halibut in this shack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, get, I didn't even think about that. That would be an easy thing to add to this game. Just different kinds of fish. It'd be so easy. Um, what am I doing right now? <laughs> Let's make some more water. Yeah, I have a I have a buddy who he goes up to Alaska all the time and he'll bring me back he he'll bring me back a bunch of fish that he's caught. It's awesome. So jealous. Sounds like a blast. I'll go up there one of these days. Um let's see. I'm gonna keep uh, just I don't know. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> That's probably why I'm here. Having a hard time deciding because it doesn't matter. Are we out of? Uh, oh, we have to make tackle. It's our last hook. Twenty minutes. Okay. My buddy lives in, uh, my buddy that goes up to Alaska to fish, he uh, he lives in Hawaii. And, uh, I mean, just lives like this dream life. And, uh, he goes spear fishing off of, he takes a paddle board out in the ocean and then spear fishes from a paddle board. I mean, I'm just like, holy crap. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Uh, what are we doing? Let's make some, uh... Yeah, the... Oh, wait. Homer's where I go if you... Okay, yep. Or at least it was 30 years ago. Cool drive from Anchorage. Oh, I fished for an hour on accident. Here we go. Yeah, it really does sound awesome. I, I have heard of, of Homer, but... Um, Oh wait, is that is Homer? Isn't that isn't that where? I think the reason why I know is isn't that where um, Sarah Palin is from Homer? I want to say something like that. I can't remember. But anyways, I have heard of Homer. Uh, I have to look at a map where it is exactly. Um, sounds more like hunting hunting fish. Yeah, it does. It really yeah, spear fishing does sound like that. Let's cook some more fish. Man, we're gonna we're definitely have plenty of vitamin C now though. Ooh. 
Okay. Um. One hour left on that. Bering Sea Crab showboats were based in Homer. Oh, that's what it is. That's where I've, that's why I've heard of it. Yep. I have one of one of my. I have another friend that uh, lives in Newport, Oregon, and uh, they have a they have their own crab boat and do all that. Well, actually, they have a fishing boat. But he also works on a crab boat that goes up and does that, you know, deadliest catch stuff, you know. I was a big fan of that when that first came out. Probably the first, like, six or seven season of that show. I just loved, loved that show. I haven't seen it in a long time, though. Um, okay. 14 minutes left on this. Let's grab this. And we're taking this pot. I think we need to take the pot. We'll leave the hammer, though. I'll just take this up to the... We'll keep most of this stuff. Let's drop this also. Okay, everything else we'll just store it in the cabin, I guess. Um, I'm going to cook some more fish. I actually have a bunch of bear meat up there. I guess it doesn't really matter, necessarily. Why am I so heavy? Is it, oh, it's just fish. The fish is fish is damn heavy, man. It is so heavy. Okay. All right. Let's take some. No, we'll just cook the bear meat. I don't. I'm not sure what to do with this thing. I think I'm going to leave it here. I think I'm just going to leave it here. Okay, my dog is wants to go outside. I will be right back. Okay. Yeah, those guys are, I mean, it is nuts what they do. I mean, it is, it truly is the deadliest catch. It is very dangerous. And those waves, man, when there's a storm, the waves are just insane, insane. Well, this is really nice. Loving this. I use my Travoy constantly now. I even brought it into Bleak Inlet for some reason. <laughs> I mean, I used it in Bleak Inlet. It was perfect. I mean, it was just, yeah, it was like, it's just such a strong tool to have. It is, it is, super valuable now and I mean can use it in many situations Twenty. Oh, oh I got a small piece here we want to get a big piece here that's funny I picked up two small pieces but on accident Okay, we got the chill music. Even moving a deer a hundred yards. <laughs> hey, whatever, man. You know? If it makes it easier. Might as well use it. I, I think I'm my only concern about the Travoy. Well, my main concern about the Travoy is the is putting ruined things into it on accident. Like, specifically flour. I'm, I'm so worried about putting flour in there. 
because there is a button that says move everything into to, there's a button where you can move your whole inventory into it I think something like that and I just everything that's ruined just goes poof maybe we'll add Travoy variants I would go for a racing Travoy <laughs> Maybe you can get one that's being pulled by wolves. You get a, like a team of wolves to pull your travoy for you. That would be that would be nice. I'd be down with that. Like a pack of timber wolves pulling your travoy for you. Once they add harnesses to the game, I guess then we'll be we'll be headed in the right direction. Been there, done that with ruin bear. Uh, the literally the first time I tried it. Yeah, I think it was like probably like the first or second time I tried it. I put a bunch of moose meat. Yeah, it was moose meat on it. And I'll just went, I think it was like seven or eight pieces just disappeared. <laughs> I mean, usually you should do this with like cooked pieces arrange them like this I guess I'm just doing I'm just doing something just to be doing something I suppose just tidying up let's just put it right here nineteen minutes on that to Narnia uh, yeah that's where it went it's true, yeah. I didn't get your joke at first, but yeah, that's where the that's where the, where the ruined pieces of meat go to Narnia. That's right. They get, they're just in there with a the big pile of arrows and stuff. Now what is it? Okay. Really? I can't put it there? Looks totally fine to me. Alright. Okay, after these... Vanish socks? Yep. <laughs> it's just one sock, though. It's not two socks. Sorry, I'm just moving my mouse around here. Okay, I think we can get another set of... Three, six minutes. Okay. Alright, that should be just perfect. Actually, I'm going to wait out here just a little bit until this fire catches up with the meat. And then I'm going to go inside. Just want to make sure... The meat is ahead of the... Okay, now it is. All right, let's go inside. So we'll... Uh, yeah, multiple single socks. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Um, okay, so next time... I think my plan is... Um, we should be hitting... Okay, we got well fed. I See, I didn't even notice it. We got it. I didn't even see it. That's how it always happens. Okay, we have well fed now. So what the plan is... Is I think... I need to sort out my gear just a little bit. I'm going to leave the Travoy here. I'm going to take some maple with me, though. And then we'll make another Travoy somewhere along the way. Maybe Pleasant Valley or maybe even further along. Because I might be going to Black Rock before I turn back and finish up the Signal Void stuff. Because I do want to visit... I want to visit every zone at least twice. And so if I go to Black Rock now and get the vest... And come back then I can go back again later and do mapping so that's my that's my line of thinking here um, it's a little risky but hey whatever you got to take risks that's what this game's about so that's what makes it fun at least for me so uh